Of course, at the start of any college baseball season, this is where you want to end up. Welcome to Omaha Seminole Baseball fans. I'm Scott Kodak for this week's edition of K-Time. We're going to get you caught up on all the big storylines here in the College World Series in Omaha, Nebraska. The Seminoles, though, coming off a very impressive Super Regional, putting up tied for the most runs in Super Regional history. They, they did it in just two games, scoring 17 and 18 runs against the Stanford Cardinal. Obviously, the Knowles punched their ticket to the 21st College World Series, but the first inside here at TD Ameritrade. We'll get right to your top three storylines. This is when I'll take on the Arizona Wildcats on Friday evening at 8 p.m. The first, just don't get caught in the allure of the ballpark. I think when you when you have a lot of young guys, including really the entire team and Coach Martin himself, this is their first time in here. You can't let the allure and just the overall sheer largeness of the ballpark get in your way. Do what you've been doing all year. Play solid baseball. Guys like Brandon Liebrandt and Mike Compton, where you will see pitch the first two games, just do what you've been doing. I think the Seminoles know they've been in some big environments. Remember, most of these guys have been in Rosenblatt before it was torn down two years ago. They know what to expect. Get the younger guys ready to go. Guys like Lee Brent and Compton, make sure they talk to the older guys. See what to expect when they play Arizona on Friday evening. Your second storyline is Kurt Heyer, the Arizona ace. We get to talk a little bit about the matchups. This young man is outstanding. 12-2 and two on the season. He's got a 2.27 ERA, over 100 strikeouts, just 22 walks on the season as well. He's going to be another uh, pitcher like a Mark Appel from Stanford. The Seminoles are going to have to look out for that. I think it's the one thing we've been fortunately seeing all year is outstanding pitching. The Seminoles have seen pretty much the best in America. Obviously, when you face a guy like Appel last week, the eighth overall pick, really anybody is not going to compare to that guy, but Kurt Heyer does. Man's got great control of his fastball, an outstanding changeup slider, throws four pitches. Seminoles are going to have a mighty, mighty big challenge. And your third and final storyline is just to enjoy the atmosphere. I know we talked about don't get caught up in the ballpark, but when you're in Omaha, you got to enjoy it. I think the Seminoles are really doing that right now. You can't take it too seriously. Yes, the Seminoles are here to win a national championship. Yes, they're here to do great things, but at the same time, enjoy your experience here. The Seminoles, if they can stay loose, they can stay ready to go, they're going to have a great showing out here in Omaha. Remember last weekend, the Seminoles, there were no nerves about them. They were not nervous to play Stanford at all. That paid dividends. If this team can stay loose, don't get too nervous, don't let all the jitters out before the game, they're going to play very well on Friday against Arizona and whoever they should play on Sunday. Make sure you stay with us here at Seminoles.com. I'll have plenty of information for you, great photo galleries, uh, just great overall video content, and a special shout out goes out to Kevin Gadowry, our videographer for the weekend. He's doing a great job for me, so Kevin, very much appreciated behind the camera. So on Thursday afternoon, I'm Scott Coder reporting for Seminoles.com.